Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome whoever you are, wherever you are, whenever you are. Today is Sunday, December 31st, 2023, and welcome back to another Soul Podcast episode. The episode topic for today, ooh, my fellow soul students, mm, who are you? If someone asks, who are you, what do you say? I want you to take a second and think about that. Now, some people respond to the question by stating their occupation, maybe an ethnicity, or sometimes a region of origin. And for others... Their last name and their family ties is what defines their identity. Well, the truth is, we are all of these things, and we are none of these things at the same time. The Oxford Dictionary defines personality as the combination of characteristics or qualities that form an individual's distinctive character. I'm going to read that again. The Oxford Dictionary describes personality as the combination of characteristics or qualities that form an individual's distinctive character. So in using that definition as a base for our conversation today, your character, your person, who you believe yourself to be, is more than just one thing. It makes up this one giant thing that is you, but there are tiny millions of pieces of you that create the whole you. So, in deciding to change enough of these pieces in a specific direction, you can change your character. No matter what combination of characteristics you have that create the lens that you see yourself through, Things can be done to change these specific characteristics. Therefore, changing you, the character, and the way that you experience life. So, the real question isn't, who are you? The real question is, what life are you living? And do you like living it? So, how do we know? How do we know if we would deem our life a life of quality? So to answer this question, it's best to analyze ourselves and our current reality. Some components of analyzing yourself would be things like analyzing your perspectives or your actions that you take in your everyday life or your reactions to certain things that happen. You would want to analyze your habits and all of these things are they include your emotions and your emotional regulation how you respond to things definitely takes part in how you regulate your emotions and of course in analyzing your current reality you want to you want to ask yourself what are you experiencing from day to day in specific environments and how are these things adding to or subtracting from your life's value And then you also want to kind of turn the mirror on yourself and you want to ask, how do I contribute to these experiences that I am having? Or, and another way to say it is, how am I causing these experiences or giving into them? In asking these questions to yourself, you're able to look at things a lot more objectively. And I know that I've spoken about that in my in these past episodes because i believe it's so important to be able to remove yourself as much as you can just important as just as important it is to be present in each moment and to acknowledge your own presence in the moment and i know that these sound like there are two opposite things however they are both very important for keeping a balance so being able to completely remove yourself and being able to be very present and I don't know why I said that maybe someone needs to hear that one today now if you are not living a life you value or you would just like to improve 
your life experience. Let's move forward with these aspects. I would go forward and ask myself, ideally, what would my days, my weeks, my months, what would they look like to me in a way that I would value my life more? I would ask myself, myself, <laughs> I would ask myself, what changes can I make now to morph my current reality into my ideal one? And with asking ourselves these, these questions, specifically, how can I morph my current reality into my ideal one? I would go back into the components of my perspectives, my actions and my reactions, my habits and my emotional regulation, because we can visualize and we can plan all we want. However, if we do not have the follow through or if we are not aware again, there's that word again, if we are not aware within ourselves to actually regulate our own internal system, there is no way we can actually regulate what's happening outside of us. Again, this is not in my notes, but it is something that I felt was very necessary and was key to this here. So again, you want to go back into your perspectives and your habits and emotional regulation when you're asking yourself these questions about how you would like your days to look in your life to look and what you can do. Now, as you take action and are consistent in working towards your ideal reality, you may realize that you as a person are slowly morphing into someone else. Why is that? How is that so, Jay? What do you mean? I was the same person when I started this. How am I not the same person? Well, because that reality that you are intending to create requires someone different to exist in order for you to experience it in that way. In order for you to have this thing that you are believing to have, you cannot have it in this current person who's wanting it. You have to have it as the person who has it. I pray that whoever I am sending this out to is understanding this. You, in taking these actions and shifting your perspective and shifting your habits, you are slowly conditioning your mind and conditioning yourself to be a different person in practicing being someone else. So again, because that reality requires you to be someone different to exist in that reality. So my fellow students of life, I am going to ask you again, who are you? My name is J.E. Marie. Welcome back to another one of our soul podcasts. And I wish you all, my fellow students of life, the best on your SOL journey. See you again next time.